Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel! As you would have read by the title, today I'm doing a January favourites video. So I'm going to be telling you all of my favourite things that I've loved throughout January. There aren't too many items, but I thought it would be best to be specific about what I've loved this month. Crazy to think a whole month of 2019 has gone so far. Now these products are a mix of clothes, accessories, food items and makeup and all that kind of thing. So if you want to know what I've been loving this month and what's made an impact on me, please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is bandanas. So I've been loving bandanas. I've fallen in love with them recently. I have five at the moment. So I have this purple one, which I really like this one. I believe this one was from Lush. I've got this black silky one that's from Cotton On. I've got another one from Cotton On, which is kind of patterned, as you can see here. I don't even know where I got this one. I've had this for a while. This is just a white patterned one, similar to the black one, except this one's cotton. And this I got as like part of like chocolate packaging, like the chocolates were inside in their own boxes and then it had this like to wrap them all up and they were in their boxes inside the bandana. But the thing with this one is it's really stiff. So like if you put it in your hair, it kind of just like hangs out like that. It doesn't like hang down with your hair. So, but yeah, I've been loving bandanas just to put around my ponytail. I put them around a bun a few times when I've worn a bun. So yeah, bandanas are in at the moment. Scrunchies are out for me. I've been loving the bandanas. We'll just switch between the kind of non-makeup products and the makeup products. So the next thing I want to mention is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Calabasas. Cal Calabasas, I think? Yeah. It's kind of this pinky nude shade as you can see here. It's a rosy tone and I love this lipstick. So this dries completely matte, does not move. I don't find it uncomfortable. If you don't like li liquid lipsticks, you're obviously not going to like this. But to me, Jeffree Star's formula is the best I've ever tried. I'm not the only one with that opinion. So yeah, as you can see, that's the color there. I think it's a really pretty everyday kind of just natural rosy pink color and I'm gonna be buying one for my makeup kit because I just think it's that good and it lasts for ages on your lips. So what? What? <laughs> Where can you go wrong? So the next thing I've been loving, which is a pretty random product, is the T2T in Creme Brulee. So this tea is described as a decadent sweet treat. I wouldn't really call it a treat because you can have this kind of more often because it's not that bad for you because it's tea. So it says velvety vanilla plays with rich caramel and smooth hazelnuts in a gorgeously golden brew and intense aroma that enhances the glorious fusion. Infusion, sorry. There's like one calorie per tea and it's like, come on. It just smells like vanilla cake and Oh my god, it just smells so good. Like, if you enjoy black tea, I would highly recommend this with milk. If you, even if you added like a teeny bit of sugar, this would literally be just as good as a hot chocolate in my opinion. Very good tea. The next couple of things I've been loving are some brushes. So these are some Morphe eye brushes. I've got, these are the ones that I've got clean anyway, but I've got a few more that came in the um, James Charles collab with Morphe where he had his own brush set so these are the only Morphe eye brushes I own so just to name a few we've got the M431 which is a kind of pencil brush M441 which is a bigger blending brush and M433 which is kind of a little bit smaller than that one or just slightly different shaped and then this one is the M456 which is even smaller again so they're all kind of just blending brushes, but these are really good. The only thing I would say is that you do need to take care of them. I believe they're goat's hair. So, sorry, they're not vegan. But as you can kind of see, a few of the hairs... I don't know if you can see that, but a few of the hairs kind of fray. And that's because when you wash them, it kind of just loses its shape from when it first, you know, you first open it in the packaging. So you just have to make sure you kind of reshape it as best you can. Obviously, most of the hairs are central in the brush, so you're not going to have product going everywhere. It's just a few rogue hairs, but like, it, that is annoying. But in terms of the blending and use of these brushes, I really like them. You just have to be careful when washing them, the, just with the blending brushes, as you can see 
see this pointed brush is totally fine. Yeah, just take care and time with these ones. Another thing I've been loving, which is pretty random, is my laptop case. It's just a kind of marble matte finish with this on the bottom. So it has little grips here and like the air vents for my MacBook Pro. So yeah, I really like this case. I think it's just really classy, suave, and it doesn't really seem to get scratched or like dirty. So yeah, I'm really liking the finish of that one. Another thing I'm loving, which mine is dirty because I just used it for my eyebrows, is the Morphe eyebrow brush. So this is the Morphe M158. So it's just got a little thin angled brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. This is just perfect for me for eyebrows. I can create such precision. This would probably be great for eyeliner as well because it really is like a fine line. But if you want to get those precise brows, this is what I use. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's just a really, really good eyebrow brush and it's affordable too. So these I know are really expensive. I know Benefit does one and it's like... I don't know, like $60 or something. So this is a good investment considering it's cheap, although you have to get it overseas, but this is a very good eyebrow brush. Highly recommend. Another thing I've been loving is my pom-pom earrings, which today match my bandana. ZLs have so many earrings on their site, pom-poms and tassels. These are the double drop pom-poms, I believe that's what they're called. You can ask for them in literally any color. They'll do whatever color. They have some examples of pictures on their website, but they have single pom-poms just like this. They have loops with, I think, three big pom-poms on them. They have pom-poms, ones that hang further down down um, and then pretty much all the same with the tassel earrings so I would highly recommend checking them out I'll make sure to put the product info down below the other color I really want to get is the I think it's dusty rose I think that's what it's called but it's like a pale pink and then a kind of similar tone to this one like down on the darker end so yeah I really love these earrings another thing is the Revlon color stay gel envy gel well, it's not gel, it's just nail polish. I've been using this to paint my toes and I think it does a really good job. This color is in purple again. I have a few others, but I like this color. This is the 420 Winning Streak. That's funny. Yeah, I really like this nail polish. It's cheap and affordable and does the job pretty well. Another thing I want to mention is this little book. Now, this is from Typo and I was given this for my birthday. It says, stay focused and extra sparkly on the front, which I think is super cute. But I've been using this book to write down all my makeup notes for class. This has been so useful for me. It's so small and I like that it has a kind of book marker which you can just put on like the week you're on. But I'm trying to keep everything organized. So like today we did face shapes and I like I drew little pictures and notes and I just think this is a really good notebook and usually I haven't been one to make many notes but because this is cute and pretty and it kind of inspires you to make notes and it's just so easy and I find this I will use more and be able to refer to it easier than my phone. I just feel like it's easier on the eyes and yeah, so I've been really liking this little notebook from Typo. The final makeup product I'm going to be mentioning to you guys is this Becca highlighter which I've got on today. So this is the highlighter in Moonstone so it has a little mirror, I don't want to blind you, and the highlight. It's quite glowy. It's kind of a whitey, champagne-y, goldy colour but it's not so gold that people like me who have really pale skin can't wear it so that's just one swatch just on my hand just there as you can see creates such a glow and I put it down my nose everywhere and this has been my favorite highlighter lately I think it's perfect for cool skin yeah like me and pale skin so yeah moonstone I've been absolutely loving the only thing with this is you do have to be careful because the powders are quite fine and delicate I just would be careful traveling with this because I have heard that they do smash and once you smash it and then use um, alcohol to kind of put it back in the pot I just feel like it's never the same so you just want to be careful with that one and the final thing I have to share with you is a t-shirt. So this one's from Cotton On and it's a Seinfeld t-shirt and if you didn't know already I love Seinfeld. Seinfeld's like my favorite TV show. I used to binge it like every second day and yeah I just love the logo. I love that it's white, white background because that's like the show and I just think it's really cool. They also have like a friends range and I believe there's one with like Jerry, Elaine, Kramer and George like all hugging which I kind of wanted to get but couldn't find the right background like it was gray and I don't really wear gray t-shirts so 
yeah. Those are my favourite products for January. Tell me your January favourites down below. I would love to hear what you guys have been loving and maybe try something new out myself. So, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you've had a fabulous first month of the year. There's so much more to go, so don't forget to make the most of every opportunity you're given because it's not too late to make change. I love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, please leave. And I will definitely see you next week. Mwah! Thank you so much. Bye!